Hey guys, welcome to WebDev Cloud. Today we are going to see how to create an EC2 instance in AWS real quick. So let's get started. So let's open the browser and log in to the AWS console. So here, let's click on to the login and provide our credential here. and password here I also enabled the multi-factor authentication so let us provide that as well so here we are logged in into our AWS console here we can see all the services available in AWS so from all the services listed here we need to go to EC2 service so let's open into the separate tab and here we can see the running instance is zero at the moment so let's just click there so there are no instance running at the moment so let us launch our first instance here let us give some appropriate name to our instance here let's call it test instance for now test oh my god what i'm typing test instance and from here we can select the operating system of our instance we will choose ubuntu and choose the version from this drop down let's say ubuntu and we'll choose ubuntu 24 now which is also the free tier eligible so here we have chosen here is the instance type which means how many memory and cpu should be allotted to the instance so here also we are going to select the t2 micro which is again free tier eligible which contains one vcpu and one gp memory so which is good for now here we can provide our key pair means SSH keys if we would like to SSH to our EC2 instance we can also keep it blank if we don't want to SSH to our instance so here let's create a new key pair let's say test EC2 dash keys and create and it is automatically selected here PEM file of key will be downloaded automatically as soon as they are created so here we can see this is downloaded and below that here are the network settings where we keep everything as it is for now and here is the ID of default VPC and no preference for subnet as well for now below that uh, it says auto assign public IP which is enabled which means our instance is going to be public instance uh, which means uh, it will be accessible from the out outer world next is uh, security group or say firewall of our instance and uh, we'll create new security group here and uh, here are some rules which uh, is going to be applied to the security group which says allow SSH traffic from anywhere which means port 22 is open for everyone and we are also uh, give port 80 which means HTTP traffic for everyone as well uh, here I would like to 
you to note that it is not advisable to keep port 22 open for everyone rather it should be allowed to certain IPs only so as of now it is good later we will see here is the storage which is 8 GB and which is good for now and let's not look at the advanced details for now and at the right side uh, here we can choose how many instance we would like to have for this same configuration so for now we need only one and let's just launch instance so it is going to take few moments to be in up and running state so it says the launch instance has been initiated here let's see let's filter the instance by their state instant state equals to running so here our instance is running and it is still in in initializing mode so it is still initializing so let's wait for a few seconds let's just fast forward this our instance is running now let's check out some of its essential details so here we can see the public IP here it is which means our instance is public and another important thing is the security group which is created along with our instance let's check out the rules of our security group so as we have provided we have opened port 22 for every IP and port 80 for every IP for now so we can do SSH from our local machine to this EC2 instance so let us again go to the EC2 instance panel and select this instance and click on connect so here we can go to the SSH client and here is the command to connect our EC2 instance it also uh, include the uh, Key pair, key pair which we have created along with the instance which is test ec2 keys pem so let us copy this command and open our terminal and put this command directly here and since our key file is in download folder so we need to edit this path here And press enter yes so here it says our key file is not having enough permission so let us just change the permission of our key file it it also suggested here it should be 400 so let us copy this sudo ch mode and the path of key file which is inside the downloads so here we are going to alter the permission of our key file oops you need required one slash okay so our key files permission has been altered now let's try again to connect to this instance okay here we are into the our ec2 instance let us also check uh, port 80 so in order to use the port 80 we need to install apache in our ec2 instance so let's first update package
remember all this operation we are performing is inside our EC2 instance and we have already connected to our EC2 instance from our local machine via port 22 which is kept open from the security group of our EC2 instance so here we have updated our packages so now we can install apache sudo apt install apache yes so let us also check the status of our apache sudo service apache oops apache 2 status it says our apache is running so if we open this public ip then it should point to our apache or alternatively we can also open the uh, public DNS uh, attached to this EC2 instance. So let's say open address. It is, I think it will uh, by default take HTTPS protocol, and as of now, our HTTPS is not allowed. So we need to alter that. Let's just copy this and close this tab and open a new tab and paste it. And if we can see. here we can see our apache is running on on to our ec2 instance let's just uh, you know block our port 80 and see what what will happen if we try to explore the same page so here is the port 80 and let's just delete this rule so edit inbound rule and from this 80 port let's just delete this and save the rules so now our 80 port has been blocked from our security group so here we are not going to access our apache and it will keep spinning it will not display us anything and after after some time it will it will just stop so after some time it will it will just time out because our port 80 is not accessible from anywhere let's just open this in separate tab to see it will not open anything because our port 80 is blocked let's just quickly go into the security group and allow port 80 again so we can see our apache page from here we can choose HTTP and from anywhere and save the rules and just reload this page so here our Apache page is back as soon as we allow our port 80 similarly we can block port 22 and will not be able to SSH to our EC2 instance so that is the basic things for the EC2 instance of how to launch EC2 instance, what are the required configuration for the EC2 instance, how to do SSH to our EC2 instance and etc. So this was it for this video. We'll see in the next video. Till then, have a nice time.